Good morning guys. Welcome back to my channel. We've got some very excited dogs in the back. Um, very bumpy because we're in the car. I thought I would do a really quick kind of weekend slash, not really weekend because it's Sunday, <laughs> a Sunday vlog. Take you guys along with us because we're actually doing something exciting today. But first off, um, we are heading to a meet and greet with a dog sitter because we've got a holiday booked in September. We have no one to look after our dogs. Our usual lady is all booked up, really annoyingly. So we're on our way and we're with the dogs, obviously, to go and meet someone and see if she could potentially look after them for a week while we're away. So yeah, on our way there now. Um, and then afterwards, we're gonna drop them off really quickly at my sister's because we are gonna be out for the day. Out, out. Out, out. Out, out, which is really exciting. <laughs> so yeah, I'll update you guys on that a little bit later, but yeah, fingers crossed. I always get super nervous, like when it comes to someone else looking after the dogs. Let me know if other people get that as well, or if I'm just being a bit like OTT. I'm probably just being OTT, but yeah, I just get really nervous about like trusting someone else with my dogs. So fingers crossed this goes well and she's really nice. Right, so we've just left the meet and greet. We were actually there way longer than I thought we'd be. Um, I don't think that was a worthwhile trip. I mean, it's always worthwhile to just go and see, but vibe was not for me. But that's why you go and check things out first, yeah. isn't it? That's why it's so important to do these meet and greets because actually, we, I can't remember if I said before, we do actually have a dog sitter that we've used previously with Rocky, um, but we haven't obviously used her since we got Milo because we've not been going anywhere because, you know, um, and she is absolutely great. And we didn't actually do a meet and greet with her. We just did a day visit and she is fantastic, but she is like fully booked all the time. And I see why, because she's like really lovely. And when we first met her, we just really clicked with her, have like full trust in her. She's just like really lovely. We would 100% use her again and 100% recommend her. Oh, Oof. I hate people who do that on that roundabout. Someone's doing like a, yeah, a Yui on a roundabout. Um, yeah, so she's fully booked, so we can't use her. So we're having to find someone else. It's really difficult. Um, but obviously, yeah, so important to do a meet and greet because if we'd have just booked her without doing a meet and greet this woman today and just dropped them off, I would have been worried all like, or the whole holiday and it would have just ruined the holiday because I would have just been really like nervous about it. Um, but yeah, she just wasn't the right fit for us, I don't think. So we're gonna, um, I've been using, if anyone else has any recommendations, I've been using like Rover and Paw Shake because I think everyone's like fully insured and checked and everything and a lot of them have like first aid training for dogs and things like that. But yeah, there's a few other people that we're gonna message. Like, there's a few other people I know have availability. Um, so we're gonna try and arrange some meet and greets, but uh, it's a shame that didn't work out, but yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, we are on the way to my sister's now um, to drop the dogs off for our little day out. Um, she said she, she was getting the paddling pool out for them because it is super hot today. So they're gonna be absolutely loving it, playing with her dog in the paddling pool. Um, but yeah, I'll update you later on. Luna, hello. He oh, <laughs> hello little man, hello. <laughs> it's so exciting, isn't it? So exciting. <laughs> yes. This ghost thing. Every time I was like, stays there um yeah so we are we just left my sisters on the way to cardiff for the day so we're obviously i've like mentioned before that like our house is on the market i'm not gonna say anything else about that i i'm a firm believer of like jinxing things i don't want to talk about anything don't ask um so <laughs> we are we are going to cardiff today because we're kind of scoping, obviously, in case anyone doesn't know, we currently live in Bristol. Um, oh God, that guy's ass is out. Oh, you 
could almost see his hole. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a lot. I know it's sunny, but you got to draw the line somewhere. Um, so yeah, Steve has been offered a new job, which you have accepted. I have. It's actually in Cardiff. Not a big deal if we stay in Bristol because it's predominantly remote. My job is also like pretty much remote. So we have the ability to actually live like anywhere that we want within reason. Um, so we just thought, you know, why don't we just go and have a little look around Cardiff, see if that could potentially be an option for us or not. So that is kind of what we're doing today. I mean, it's such a nice day today, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so we're kind of lucky that it's like nice and sunny and we can just like leave the dogs up with my sister and go and have like a little day out in a different city. So that's going to be really nice in itself. And then we're, but we're kind of like having a drive around as well and looking at some different areas because you lived in Cardiff for a year when you were a student. Yep. I've obviously been to Cardiff, but not like, not a lot. We went to um, Cardiff on your sister's Hindu, didn't you? Yeah, I went there for like a Hindu, um, and like, I've been to like the rugby there, but like, that's very different. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go and have a drive around quite a few different places. So actually, if anyone lives in Cardiff or knows the area really well, Drop some comments down below, any recommendations of places that are really nice to live. We're definitely looking for more of a kind of like fixer upper house. Um, but if anyone has any kind of insider knowledge, then yeah, any, oh God, I think the camera's gonna go. <laughs> any information would be greatly appreciated because obviously it's weird. It's just like a brand new city for us. So it'd be really exciting. But yeah, very interesting. We'll see what it's like today. And we're also gonna like pop into HomeSense because I think their home sense is relatively big. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna like just go out for some lunch, um, just have a bit of a wander around and a drive around some different areas. So we'll take you guys with us. Um, and yeah, we'll see. Are you excited, Steve? You're very quiet. I'm very excited. I'm just making <laughs> talk. Do you, do, you, do you thing on camera? Yeah. No, we've been waiting to do this for ages. We've just been really like busy. So this is like the only day that we've had to actually being able to like go out together and do this so very very exciting we're going to be there in about an hour um so yeah i'll check back in with you guys when we get there had to do the obligatory is that a word yeah obligatory stop to starbucks i got skinny iced latte with vanilla steve got cold brew he's basic like that and i also got this as well i thought it was so yummy very crunch yogurt, very difficult to film in the car because it's so wobbly. But yeah, got some road trip drinks. And now we're on the way. And now we're actually on the way. And we filled up with petrol as well. Yes. Okay, so this is location number one. And I can't say it. Do you know where we are, Steve? No. Um, Pont Pontpreneau? <laughs> I am so sorry if anyone's watching this who is Welsh. Um, because I can't pronounce it anything basically. I think it's called like Pont Pontpreneau or something. We're like that word up there on the sign. Pontpreneau. What? That one. Um, yeah. Just like trying to scope out. There's like a lot of new builds here, like that we've seen so far. And obviously, like, that's not really what we're looking for this time round. It's really nice around here. It's like very leafy, very kind of like suburban vibes, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's a nice area, but I don't think this is our vibe, is it? I don't think so. I want to have a little nosy at that new build estate, but even then I don't think that's, 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 just that's obviously not what we're looking for. It's just, yeah, yeah. I just want to be nosy. We want like that perfect mix between like being close to like shops places to eat things like that but also feel a little bit more like private and not too like built up yeah i don't know if that exists and if it does exist it's probably not going to be our price budget um but we'll, we'll look for it anyway um so yeah let's go look at those new builds and then i think we're gonna head to home sense oh god wobbly um Steve's not excited about Home Sense, but no. when in Rome, guys, go to Home Sense. Steve hates Home Sense. <laughs> okay, so we're still driving around. We just come down this road. Oh my gosh! Oh, vibe with the gates. 
love that life. Some of these, I don't want to film them too much because it's like an invasion of privacy, but like, we've just come down. This is like more our kind of vibe. It feels a lot more quiet. It feels like we're in the countryside, but we're literally like, oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. We definitely can't afford these, so let's not get too excited. But we're literally like one street across. And this is, I feel like more like we're, how far away from the center? Like 10, 15 minutes? I don't know. Um, don't but know. these houses, oh, that is insane. These houses are so nice. And like, it just feels really quiet. And like, this is more our kind of vibe, isn't it really? Yeah, definitely. Ooh. Um, yeah, so this is definitely more our kind of vibe. This is what I mean by like, kind of semi rural. If you look at the map, there's nothing to the, so the houses are to this side, to the right hand and side. And it's like not built up basically around yeah, here. There's nothing. Well, for now anyway. Um, oh, very exciting. I'm liking this. Oh, hello. Jesus, that's massive. That is a huge. This is one of the reasons we're obviously considering around here because I just feel like we can potentially, compared to Bristol, get a lot more for our money. To get a house like that in Bristol, we would have to move very, 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 very far out of the center. Right, I'm gonna put in Home Sense into the sat nav and let's head there, shall we? Boo! <laughs> So successful little drive around. We drove around a couple more streets and there were really nice like tree lined avenues and just looked really nice. It helps that the sun's out as well to be honest. We've just turned up at this retail park, not that you can see it. It's called Cardiff Lifestyle Shopping Park. Um, so home sense is literally right here. Left, then continue straight. Yeah, um, and we're about to pop in. I'm actually gonna vlog while we're in there because I'm really sad. I just get a kick out of going to different home senses because I feel like they're all a little bit different, have slightly different offerings. Um, so yeah, while we're here, we're gonna pop in, but I'm also gonna be vlogging it. So watch this space. I'm not sure which video is gonna go out first, but you'll see. You'll see. There she is. Oh, bay. Prime parking spot, well done. You ready for this? You're gonna go find a sofa to sit on the whole duration, basically. That's usually what I do. <laughs> right, BRB. Right, so we have just come out of HomeSense. Didn't end up getting anything, but sort of filmed it all for you guys. Anyway, I love the experience. <laughs> he wasn't keen. Um, but yeah, it's really nice around here. So there's like a big DW gym, there's like a pets at home, boots, Few, there's like um something else starbucks this is starbucks um so it's good to kind of like this is what we want to kind of do is just have like a drive around and see like what other things like what are the shops that i normally go to these are the shops and <laughs> these <ones>. literally <laughs> pets at home home sense like yeah um so it's good to know that these are like in the area but we're going to put our next destination in the map now which is hold the line cooler Lisfane, sure. Like Thornhill, Lisfane area. That was actually um, was that a rec? I think I like googled that as a place. Some of these are like recommendations of a friend, and some of them are like things that I've googled that I've like heard are nice, but we don't really know. That's why we just want to like drive around them and kind of see if there are vibe or not. So yeah, yeah. Lisfane, Thornhill. We're like doing like a loop like this basically around Cardiff. So next stop, let's head it. Let's go. Did you say you were hungry? You wanted food or something? Yes. Well, it's oh, it's quarter to one. Yes. Um, and I've only eaten a bagel today. Oh my god. Right. Yeah. Well, we'll should we that out. drive just... there and we'll just see if there's a pub and we can just pull up and have some food? Yeah. Sounds like a plan. I'm easy. Right. We are gobsmacked. <laughs> we have just driven through Thornhill, and there are some incredible like gated man like massive houses like our dream houses like really modern um we're like driving in a little bit more and there are some like smaller ones which are obviously far more our kind of price bracket but it's still really really nice but one thing like i don't think that i'm just gonna turn around Lou, and go back the other way yeah. sorry it's like... <gasps> huge oh you can't even see it oh my gosh like we're not your typical home searchers because 
I think a lot of people just look, oh, where where would I like to live? Where would be homely or whatever? But because we want a home, but we also want a renovation project, it's kind of difficult that we have to like combine those two things. But it's so nice driving around here and seeing like literally every 10 houses, oh, nice. they're being like renovated. So to us, we take that as a sign of there's like, money in the area there's potential in the area to be able to do that um and that the area is like sought after that's how we kind of read it um but there's also like really nice hopefully you guys can see there's like loads of really nice green space which is obviously we're looking for places to like walk dogs yeah let's drive up here and show them that house that's on the market just to be clear we like 100% wouldn't be able to afford this house <laughs> but it just goes to show so like there are some really really nice kind of big detached houses but look at this one right here it's on the market so if anyone's got a very like extensive budget how cool does that look that's very much our style but like yeah there's loads of other ones and there are some like really dated ones there's which nice is one on the left here i think yeah this one here as well but there's some really dated ones which is obviously like the type of house that we want is one that's like a little bit more run down to be able to renovate it um are we going to go all the way back down I or do you want me to put to, yeah i was going to go back down like something like that oh my gosh could you imagine guys can you imagine I feel like, like you, I feel like you're imagining for everyone right now. I am like pumped. Like we have been driving around so many different areas in Bristol, and Steve, you will vouch. I've not been like buzzed for anywhere like I am yeah. here. Right. Let, flip, oh my I was god. Say flip it round. Let's. Oh my. Okay. Right. The owner's there. We can't show you that one. Oh, like mansion, like gated. This is the one that you didn't see earlier. That looks like it should be in LA or something. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, these houses sick this one. Oh my gosh oh my god i just got your chin basically <laughs> sorry there's cars hashtag behind. content there's a car behind me that's no, fine so. but yeah so it's a real mix and like obviously all the houses around here are like really big beautiful houses some of them are just like look quite dated um but obviously those are the ones that we want to oh i'll show you this one this is one that we saw when we drove in that's obviously one that's been renovated. Right, should we put in the next postcode? That's There's weird. one for sale there. Um, yeah, we're gonna put in the next postcode, which is Thornhill. That, that's kind of where we are So now. like, it's like Thornhill, Lisvane are like similar areas. I think we're in like Lisvane. Yeah. So I'm gonna put in the Thornhill postcode now, but like so far, this is like top of my list. What's your vibe? Loving it. Loving, loving it. it, loving it, loving it. You're not gonna get a more excited reaction from Steve than that. That means he's like fully invested, <laughs> <laughs> basically. So we've had a very quick drive from like Lisvane to Thornhill. Thornhill. We've been driving around Thornhill. It's very nice as well. Um, going from like Lisvane to here, I feel like doesn't have the same Lisvane vibe. was like 10 out of 10, like fully us. And then like, it is really nice around here, just like, not as appealing as where we were before. Um, we've just pulled up at a pub called the Pendragon. Um, we're just gonna like Google the menu really quickly because um, we're just gonna, it's one o'clock now. So we're thinking of like stopping for lunch. Um, we did think about going into town for lunch, but because we've got so many places that we want to like go to, we might as well just do one like en route. Right, we're gonna hit the road again, aren't we? We did try and look at some um, houses on right move while we were eating, didn't we? Yeah, internet wasn't too great in there. And because we were inside, because I'm a diva. Yeah. Um... God, this car needs a clean. Oh, oh, my dad's calling. Hello. Hey, what do you think you have today? We're in Cardiff. Okay, so my dad just called then. To interrupted my blogging. Um, so we just had lunch at that place, which was called the Pendragon. It was okay, wasn't it? It was standard, a bit like- Standard pub grub. Yeah wasn't amazing um but we just wanted like a quick pit stop but we are off to our second location now third location third, oh gosh fourth yeah location. what no. i've lost count now so we did the first one then we did yeah fourth you're yeah, right fourth. it is fourth um which is oh 
god, can I say it? Like, no. Ruim? Wim? Wim? Rubina. It is a real word, I just can't say it. So, we're going to the next place um, to have a little drive around. Hopefully this is actually interesting for you guys. This is super interesting for us, but it's like really difficult to like vlog everything out the window and like concentrate and look and I'm really bad at multitasking. Um, so yeah, I will pick up the camera when we see some exciting stuff. It's like a hairdresser. It's like, oh, there's a design studio. Oh, a coffee shop, um, post office. I said, this is cool. And Steve was like, is it? It's like handy little. You love a little high street. I love a little high vibe. street. Little community vibe. These are nice houses, aren't they? Semis, yeah. It's nice around here. This is the area now, by the way. Yeah. So we saw that there was actually like a really cute little bungalow that was for sale around here, wasn't there? I think so. That had a huge garden and it looked like you could like extend it, do like loads, whatever with it. Um, so we know we know for sure that there's something in this area that we can afford um whereas previously that has maybe not been the case it's just like a nice little quiet street isn't it one thing that we're loving is that like all of these places are literally like a five minute drive from each other and you're still super close to like the center so if you do want to go into town and stuff you're not far but like bristol's really spread out and it takes like quite a long time to drive like to different places doesn't it yeah so it feels like even though you're still in bristol you could be like very far away from other people what's your vibe so far it's okay yeah it's not it's not quite catching me like the, like uh... once, once you've been to the, the oh it's really nice shops up there once you've been to the um the bouge of lisvane nothing quite compares does it no like it's okay yeah there's a train station here. There's quite a few train stations actually. Mm. Yeah, like the renovation bungalow thing that we saw was like kind of like one of these, but it looked like it was more set back from the road. So we'll have to keep an eye open and see if we see it. Um, because it'd be interesting to see what it's like, wouldn't it? Yeah. There's some like nice big houses here. And there, there's quite a lot of like nice bay fronted houses. These are actually really our style, but I can appreciate they're very, very nice. Yeah. There's that one on the left, left, left. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. I'm not doing a very good um, job of vlogging all of this. It's all over the place. Right, I'm gonna put in the next one. Um, oh, it's another place that I can't really say. Um, Radir? Radir. So nice and like green, isn't it? Mm. I mean, we are on like, just come off the motorway, but the scenery is pretty nice. Big old bougie house there. This oh, said something about rolled doll on that house. Oh, no way. It's definitely, um, yeah, had the blue park, didn't it? Yeah, it definitely feels like a lot more rural around here, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Like there was like a farm back there. Um, yeah, it's a lot more quiet, but it's, I don't, we're still not like that far from the city centre, to be honest. Are we not? I don't, well, yeah, we'll double check on the map. I don't think we are. I don't think I put anything on our stops that were like that far. Yeah. Some like really big houses there. This looks really nice, doesn't it? Mm, it does. You know, you can tell it's like an expensive area when you look at all the cars can't you oh wow wow yeah like when we were in that list vein place it was literally like there was like a porsche then there was like a jaguar wasn't it we don't got those cars <laughs> we, we, we don't have we got cars. a toyota <laughs> yeah again, very nice this, houses. this is the sort of vibe that i'm looking for like a bit more quiety but still yeah. on nice roads that are like easy to get out on yeah, we don't want to be like in the middle of the countryside, but then we don't want to be somewhere that's like quite built up. So this is like a lot of green, but there's still houses. We're still not that far from like the city. So this is probably like ideal for us really. Oh, wow. There's a nice one there. Yeah, it looks, this is a strong contender. I love like when you can just see views like that, like just green. What's your vibe? I really like it. Obviously I feel like 
list vein was like goals goals we did try and have a little look the signal was so bad we tried to have a look while we had lunch um and like we could probably like just about afford it but like pretty much like 95 percent of the houses that are selling there are like so far out of our budget like so far and like some of them were like 1.6 million 1.1 million obviously we ain't got that money so <laughs> our budget is far smaller than that there are some like houses that we could afford um but we might have to make sacrifices on like the kind of um size or something like that so this is why we want to look at loads of different areas and see like yeah we could live in a really nice area like that but we'd have to have a smaller house um yeah so we just have to like weigh things out when we get back really did you want me to put in the next place yeah give me a sec there's a car up behind you me should put in, i guess yeah I'm just... um so next on the list is whitchurch and that's a place that i can say it's because there's one in bristol there's well. a whitchurch in bristol right 11 minutes to our next destination i'm glad that we found a couple of places that were like this could work this could you know yes yeah, there's, there's there's nice houses around here yeah right so we are in whitchurch now we actually just went past loads of like really nice big houses um but i think there's like a park like over there it's difficult to tell so far i mean yeah i'm not seeing a lot of it yeah. driving down a bit more of a main road than we'd look to live on i think but yeah it's always good to oh wow wow um oh that that looks like a fancy high school doesn't it um yeah here's the high street then here we go there's another pub there's pubs everywhere in Wales. Yeah, they, they really are. A boots, that's handy. Right. There's like loads of charity shops. Parsons, that's one of your favourite places. Mm. <laughs> There's a co-op. Oh, Fino Lounge. We love a lounge. Yeah, I did not Lounge? Is it? Is that a chain everywhere? I thought it it's was just... It's not everywhere. They are branching out. Um, Didn't there maybe just Bristol and Cardiff? No, there's a few more now. Uh, Rob said there's one in like where he lives. Oh no, hey, cool. Oh, there's a really cute little bistro there. Oh, got them new new. Yeah, like there's a lot of like these kind of bay fronted, more like Victorian style houses, and like they are really nice, but they're just not really like they don't really grab us like other kind of houses do. Um, I don't think this street is our vibe. Also, at any point in this vlog, I don't want it to come across like we're like, oh, this is shit, this is shit. But obviously just everyone has like a different cup of tea, do you know what I mean? Like, and I wouldn't want people to think that we're going to areas and being like, oh, this is gross. It's just like, we kind of know what we're looking for. Um, and like, obviously, like I was saying, like the Victorian fronted houses, like they're beautiful, like, they really are, but they're just not, I mean, you never say never, but like, it's not, we don't look at those and think, yeah, I want one of those. So every, everyone's looking for different things. This road's quite nice. It's nice, It yeah. feels like it, it really changed, like, vibe from street to street. That's why you just never know. you just got to do, like, loads of driving around and just kind of see, um, see what's on offer. Yeah, it's like, I'm, I'm just completely, like, driving aimlessly at the moment, mm. just turning here, there, and everywhere, and just seeing, yeah. seeing what, what comes up. I don't think this is our vibe. I'm just not getting like a, oh, I like this. It's like, these houses are beautiful. They really are. But this, I don't know, it just feels a bit built up. And I don't, that's just not really what we're looking for. I mean, it's, I, like, it's like you said earlier on in the video, we like our angles and stuff and like the bay, mm, the bay windows don't really do that. We basically want something that's like proper fugly that we can just like fully gut and renovate and make really modern. We love like modern houses. And obviously if you move into a period house, I feel like you kind of owe it to the house to like I keep a lot of it. those original features and stuff. Um, yeah, it's just not our cup of tea we want something that's just like a bland old ugly box that we can kind of make pretty but yeah i just feel like this area is probably a little bit too built up there's like a lot of houses like really kind of small like wiggly windy streets i i just 
I don't know. I mean, and they're all they're all quite traditional as well, aren't they? Like you said, with the with the windows, like the bay yeah. windows and stuff. And that, as you said, they're nice. It's just not our vibe. Yeah, I can so see why this area would be really popular because you have the really nice little high street. You have some absolutely beautiful houses around here, but you only should go to an area and you're like, I'm just not feeling this. What's next on the agenda? Juan Daf. Juan Daf. Um, we were just saying like it's nearly three o'clock now um and obviously my sister is looking after our dogs today i think we're gonna give the center like going to cardiff central like a miss and we'll have to do it a different day um we have been to obviously we've both been to cardiff center before it's just more that like we were you're all good this way thank you we obviously we haven't been for a couple of years we didn't know how much has changed we both know that we like the center of cardiff um, so to us it's more important to just come and like look at different areas of like living there. Um, so we're going to give it a miss today just because we're like running short on time. It takes us like an hour to drive back. Um, so yeah, the focus is more on like finding areas that we may want to actually go and view houses. I don't want to book in loads of viewings if we're going to turn up and be like this is rubbish over the bridge. Wow. Wow. Alright, quick battery change. What the, what I'm learning from this experience is that we need to wash our car because um, <laughs> it's really smeary. There's a massive park down there. Yeah, I'm going to swing a left line this one. So this is Handaf. Handaf. This is cute. Tree lined. Tree line. You know I like a tree lined road. Don't judge me. Ooh, that's a pretty house. There's like a really nice little, you probably can't see it, but there's like a green, like in the middle of everything. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's like really big kind of detached houses. Again, they're all that kind of traditional style. I'm not looking at that. There's literally speed bump after speed bump. Yeah, it's like really, really nice around here, like nice and green. Again, these houses are just super like traditional. Yeah, let's put in the next place. Ponte Cana? Oh my God, we're still going. We've still got loads of like... Well, we were gonna go into, these are like on the drive out basically. Mm. This video is gonna be so long. We've just gotta like bash these out now. Um, yeah, so we're going to, what was it, Ponte Cana now? Ponte Cana. Ponte Cana. I think um, my pronunciation of Welsh places isn't great. Yeah, we've definitely been down here before. I actually spotted the place that we like stopped and had lunch last time we were here. Um, it's beautiful around here, like beautiful tree-lined streets. You're good this way. Um, tree-lined streets. The houses are like three story, like Victorian terrace houses. Honestly, like beautiful. It's just not for us. So we've put in the next destination, which is Penn Island. Yeah, I'd hate to know how expensive the houses are around here. Cause yeah. as you said, they are three stories. They are giant. Yeah, they're massive. Um, yeah, and that's like where all the like coffee shops and stuff like that are. So beautiful place to live, super close to the center. I don't think we can, for what we want, we wouldn't be able to afford it here. And it's just not really, it's just not exactly what we're looking for. So we're going to go to Penn Wylan. And then after that is the last stop, which is... Concoid? Concoid. Um, so yeah, if they're good, I'll show you. This vlog is gonna be like long as. Um, so I'll only show you if we're like vibing with it. But if not, I'll check back in with you guys when we get home. Just heading back from Wales into England. So the last two places we went to actually were really nice. Um, I just kind of couldn't be bothered to vlog it to be honest. I'm feeling so tired now. I feel like my brain is frazzled. I've taken in so many like different places and like, do you know what I mean? 100%. Like I feel really tired now. Like we've done a lot of driving and yeah. It's given, us eyes. Lot, it's given us a lot to think about that, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. We need we need to have like a proper debriefing when we get back and just have a think. Um, 
but so helpful today because yeah it's like you can't really tell like just looking at how so I usually go and like see different areas but we've definitely def 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 definitely narrowed it down to quite a few different places that we really really like the look of um so yeah we're gonna head home we'll be back in like half an hour yeah. about half an hour ish and then head back we are both super tired um i was out with my friends yesterday and like i feel like my social battery is just like dead I, like i don't know i just feel like since the pandemic and everything i feel like now social occasions to take it out of me so much more like i'm not used to it um so yeah i think we're gonna watch a movie and like chill out should we do our like like our in our lounge our little movie setup again yeah we can do that you guys know the drill cushions on the floor nice little day bed snuggle with the boys they're probably gonna be knackered because every time like we do play dates with my sister's dog they just like all end up playing all day and like tuckering each other out so they'll be nice and cuddly and tired. Um, so yeah, it was just a mature dog thing, really. Yeah. <sighs> right, we are back home now. Um, we just went and picked the dogs up from my sister's place. She said they were really good while we were out. Uh, and yeah, they're absolutely tuckered now. They've just been playing all day. Oh my gosh, it is so hot. So hot. I think it's like 32 degrees or something now um so we went and picked them up we had like an ice cream and a drink in the garden with my sister which was really nice and her husband um but we just got back now and yeah we're fully like pooped just very hot tired i know british people always complain about the weather but if it honestly feels like it's either too cold or too hot um it seems like we just get extremes at the moment so sat in the lounge we're about to put a movie on we've got the fan on the go so I've shared this with you guys so many times before. Um, this is our AC unit. Um, I get so many messages. Are oh, your clothes down? Yeah. I thought you were gonna walk in without a top on. Um, we get so well so many messages about this AC unit, whether it's worth it or not. What's the verdict? It is oh, so worth it, isn't it? So worth it. I think they've rocky? I think they've gone up in price quite a lot because a couple of people were like when I shared it from last time, we bought these early um, because we were worried that they would go up in price and they have, because obviously the demand's higher now. But honestly, it's been so worth it. I think ours was like 110, 120, but it cools the whole room down. You can put ice packs in it and it's honestly like a lifesaver in this situation. Um, yeah, so we're literally, this is gonna be us for the rest of the evening, just like ugh, trying to cool down and yeah just chill out a little bit um i think i'm gonna like jump in the shower actually because i just feel really like hot and sticky so i'm gonna sign off this vlog here i feel like this has been the most random vlog i know it's just literally been us like driving and like chatting absolute nonsense about houses i wanted to kind of share the journey with you guys and i thought it may be kind of like I don't know helpful for some people or just interesting to kind of know more about like why we're moving what we're looking for and stuff like that so verdict was what was the verdict steve what was the verdict about today uh list vein's my favorite list vein's your favorite yeah uh i like concoid i like yeah that was the one that we saw at the end we didn't vlog it uh Pen Yeah, that was the one just before, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I like those two. I like those two as well. Yeah. It's good to kind of narrow down like exactly where we're looking and stuff. But I think we definitely need to have like a bit of a chat about what we can. We've had a chat about what we can afford, but like Steve's now changed job and it kind of changes things a little bit. So yeah, we need to know what our maximum budget is and just start having a look at what kind of house we can afford in that area because we're very much like of the mindset of let's buy like in a nice area and then we can add value to it um yeah i'm gonna stop blabbing on because it's gonna get so boring but fingers crossed we see some movement with the whole house stuff soon i thought you were gonna say something then you look like deep in thought deep in heat deep in heat um yeah fingers crossed some stuff like happens soon because we're getting a bit like just fed up of kind of waiting um but when i feel like it's the right time to share stuff i definitely will 
try and keep you guys in the loop as much as possible um but yeah i've got a couple of like room transformations coming up which is really exciting um yeah so watch this space and also my home sense um vlogs coming as well so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video and until next time i will see you guys later